This is HSE 30, again, uh, homogeneous uh, systems of equations. And in this case, we want to find the null set of a matrix. Now, recall that a null set is basically the solution if the matrix represents the coefficient matrix for a homogeneous system. So that's what we're going to assume. We're going to assume this is a system of equations in five variables. We get four equations. And what we need is for the solution uh, vector to all be zero so that it's homogeneous. And then we need to solve that system. And the solution set then will be this thing called the null set. Okay? So I need the augmented matrix for this. And I'm just going to cheat. I'm just going to add it on to the end instead of rewriting the whole thing. So just add in a column of zeros in there. Now it's the augmented matrix for this guy representing a homogeneous set. And then of course, I need the R ref for this guy. So what does this look like once I put it in reduced row echelon form? Well, here's what it looks like. Uh, we get uh, one, two, zero, zero, five, zero. Second line is zero, zero, one, zero, negative eight, zero. Line three is zero, 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 one, two, zero, and the last line is all zeros. So this is the R ref for this particular system. So you can see we have one, two, three pivots, but no pivot in the last column. We do get an equation that sort of opens the door for there to be multiple solutions. Uh, so we get R equals three. Uh, n equals 5. So we are definitely going to have multiple solutions here. Uh, it isn't that there's no solution to the system. Uh, our D is equal to uh, 1, 3, and 4. So these are the variables that are going to need explicit relationships in terms of other variables. Uh, F gives us our free variables, and that's 2 and 5. So I'll just start off with x2 being equal to a and x5 being equal to b. And that way I can start to write the solution, which in this case is going to be the, uh, uh, the null set for a. Uh, uh, the null space, actually, is what it's actually called, not the null set. Uh, so with x2 being a and x5 being b, because those are the free variables, let's look at the dependent variables. So 1, 3, and 4. So first, 1. So it's going to be uh, negative 2a minus 5b. So that's going to be x1 is negative 2a minus 5b. Uh, x3 is the next dependent variable. And x3 is going to be negative, or now it's going to be 8b by the time it's on the other side. Uh, and then finally, x4 is the third dependent variable. And x4 is going to be negative 2b. So there is our null space for vector a is going to be equal to this particular set. Uh, and the set is going to be uh, x1, negative 2a, minus 5b. Uh, x2 is a. x3 is 8b. x4 is negative 2b. And x5 is b. And that's assuming that a and b are both elements of uh, the complex number set. And there it is. So that's the null space that is the solution set for uh, our original uh, matrix A, uh, assuming that it was the coefficient matrix for a uh, homogeneous system. And again, strictly speaking now, this is no longer matrix A because I've added in that last column there. So A doesn't exist anymore. A is just this portion right here. That's A. There we go.